Hey folks, today is April the 16th. It's currently 6.35 in the afternoon. We're going to look at doing our Adjumat EA week number three live testing update. As you guys can see here, we did uh, earn 2% last week with our live Adjumat account. Let's go ahead and jump in here now and see exactly how we did this week. All right, so the original EA is continuing to go strong. The updated version, we did have that pullback, but it's likewise continuing to go strong. Looking to make some new highs here. And our live account here, as you guys can see, that equity curve is definitely looking nice. We're currently up 4.83%. Let's go ahead and jump in now and see what the MyFX book account looks like. All right, guys, as we can see here, 1.78% return this week. I'm uh, usually happy with anything approaching 1% per week. And the fact that, you know, last week was 2%, this week is at 1.78%. I'm definitely uh, happy with the performance of our live account right now with Adjumat. And somebody did ask what broker I'm with, and it is LQDFX. When you go to the MyFX book account, it's at the top, and they also listed right there under a uh, broker in general stats. All right, and as I mentioned a moment ago, drawdown is, what is that, 3.87%. So drawdown has definitely been kept under control. Very happy with that as well. And for the month, we are up 4.53%. And guys, we still have two weeks to go for the month of April. So I'm definitely excited to see exactly what's going to uh, happen. All right. History. Actually, I'll uh, go over the history when we jump into the VPS here. All right, give me one second, and we'll take a look at that. Almost forgot to check on news. All right, let's go ahead and uh, see what we got this week. Monday doesn't look like there's really anything that could affect us. Tuesday, we had USD Core CPI. Wednesday looks like we had Fair Chair, Fed Chair Powell speaks in Australian employment change. USD core retail sales on Thursday. Also unemployment claims that can uh, spike depending on the numbers we get. Let's see what else we got here. And nothing on Friday that would cause any whipsaws or spikes that I can see here for us. And we are only trading two currency pairs. Let's go into summer. You can see AUD USD and GBP USD. So all the news that we got won't affect us, but that Australian news that we saw right here definitely could, as well as uh, the USD news and the PAL news as well. All right, let's go ahead and jump in now and see uh, exactly what happened in the VPS. All right, as you guys can see here, Adjumat 2018. GBP USD. I did notice a few spikes, but we are on the one minute chart, so I'm not going to uh, waste time going through trying to find those spikes here. But I did notice a few spikes uh, as I've been watching the, uh, or excuse me, as I've been scrolling through this right here. But we can come down here and take a look, and you can see $81.57 in drawdown going into the weekend and again this is a $2,150 account so definitely okay with 80 bucks in drawdown all right let's go ahead and jump over to account history and the first day of the week was the 12th all right let's see here all right, so we actually had some pretty nice size trades close out. And as you can see, obviously, Adjumat closes out trades in batches here. In this batch, we had a very nice size trade right here, $40.56. And looks like we had quite a few smaller trades close out. So definitely, like I said, happy with the performance and what we're seeing here. And also happy with the fact that we're keeping drawdown to a minimum. Hopefully that will continue. Ideally, you know, once we get to the $3,000 mark, we'll go ahead and add one new currency pair. And if that, whenever that time does come, we'll obviously go ahead and uh, 
check one of the other accounts and see exactly which uh, pair is performing third best and that's the one that we'll add and let me see here and in order to actually do that we'll need to come back up here and we'll take a look at obviously we can check the original but most likely what I'll end up doing is coming in here checking the uh, updated version and just clicking on summary here and seeing which uh, is the third most profitable pair and that's the one that we will end up going with and just taking a look right here definitely glad we uh, started out with AUD USD and GBP USD most likely we'll end up going with uh, either Euro USD or USD CAD so one of those two will most likely be our next uh, next pair but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it for the time being we can take a look at this demo account as well and as you guys can see 0.76 percent return and now I'm curious to see how the original version did alright so the original version definitely uh, didn't do as well as the new updated versions as you can see we only earned 0.26 percent and we had a lot more drawdown 37.98 percent whereas uh, the updated version still is doing significantly well in the drawdown department you can see 14.75 percent and obviously what we're uh, doing with the live account is very low at 3.87 percent let's uh, jump over to the website for Adjumat and see if they have any uh, giveaways excuse me not giveaways but any coupon codes right now all right, guys, we're on the Adjumat website. I'm going to refresh the page so you guys can see. Typically, when you come to this website and there's any sort of a coupon code or a discount, it will pop up. But unfortunately, right now, there's nothing like that going on. But we'll continue to check around. Uh, actually, I think I'll make this a part of the weekly video so you guys know when sales are coming or going on. But typically around holidays is when they... Uh, start putting out those coupon codes and sales and things of that nature all right anyhow guys if you have any questions whatsoever on Adjumat, shoot them my way and i'll definitely try to get those answered for you as i've said a few times now definitely happy with the performance in our live account with our live testing and if you're uh, likewise testing the Adjumat ea make sure you guys uh, shoot me a comment and let me know how you're doing as the weeks progress i uh, like comparing everybody's notes as i get them are basically comparing my results to everybody else's results because if you guys are you know doing significantly better than me that tells me I need to uh, figure out why and maybe make some changes and if you guys notice that I'm doing better than you you can uh, obviously see exactly what I'm doing or you can ask me to uh, see exactly what's going on with my settings as well but I honestly haven't touched my settings other than to uh, really I'm not even sure if Adjumat has a key Sometimes you have a license key. Give me one second. Let me uh, double check on that. Okay. Yeah. Well, beyond the authentication key that you uh, put in, I haven't actually changed anything in the settings. So everybody should be getting pretty close to similar results here. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Our next weekly update review for Adjumat will be on April 23rd. All right, guys, hope you have a great weekend. If you want to test out Agile Map for yourself, make sure you guys use the link below. All right, take care. Talk to you on the next one.